Hello everyone, we will now try for another activity here. I'm taking the circular chapati, folding it and making a cut from the two ends using the knife. After that, you just have to roll it and convert it somewhat an antenna type of the structure or I can say a twisted type of the structure. Then with the help of the fork, you just have to make some of the lines, make use of your hands and just hold them together. These will represent some of the petal type shape of this type of the bird. It's actually the fish and then you can squeeze them together and make some of the fish fins out of it. You can just make a flower thing also it depends on how you just are going to make let's move towards our this one activity here i'm taking the two and i'm just cutting it using the scissors and i'm going to place this red colored clay at the center it will represent the tongue and then you just have to make some of the legs this activity is very simple it's best suitable for the kids between the age group of 9 to 11 you can just add more patterns using different tools like the knife some of the scissors as shown here this looks so perfect and easy and it's fascinating for everyone such type of the activity is a little bit time consuming but it's worth investing. Let's shift our attention towards our next project. I'm taking the circular chapati and I'm making the four cuts out of it. Then these cuts are piled up together and squeezed using the chopstick. This is very simple pattern and very easy, best suitable for the small kids. Let's move our attention towards our next project. Here you have to create these three chapatis and you just have to roll them together. And then once you are done with rolling them together, you just have to repeat the process for the other chapatis as well. You can just pause the video so that you can't get confused at any particular step. These activities are very simple and fascinating also with the help of the chopsticks. I am going to squeeze them together in between. I am going to make the cuts with the help of these scissors and you just have to join them together. Don't get confused you can just pause it and with the help of the fork add the more things this type of the activity is a little bit time consuming because you just have to add the different features to this type of the flower Let's move towards our next project. You just have to make the circular chapati and two circular chapatis are piled up and then cuts are made. Once you are done with making the cuts with the help of your hands, you just have to fold it towards the inner direction and you can also make use of the chopsticks for such type of the folding. This activity is again very simple. It's very easy. It's very less time consuming. It's best suitable for the kids between the age group of 9 to 10. With the help of the comb and the knife, you have to make the circular chapatis, cut them in between and roll it one after the another. You can just pause the video so that you can just try to make it perfectly place it at the center as shown on your screens this looks so nice and good go for this one Let's shift our attention towards our next project. This one is again very easy. You just have to make the circular chapatis that are 6 in number and in between you just have to place the dates. You can even make use of the different shapes of the clay instead of the dates. The choice is all yours. Squeeze them together using the chopstick. Then I'm going to add a circular thing in between that will just beautify this flower. This activity is again very simple. Best suitable for the kids between the age group of 12 to 13. Stay tuned. Thank you for watching.